Hello, this is Thomas K4SWL, and I'm doing just a really quick video here uh, showing you this little um, TR45L pack. Uh, this is a padded case that um, John WA3RNC started carrying at Pentac specifically to fit his radios, the TR45L and the TR45L Skinny. Now, he sent this to me free of charge when I got my uh, TR45L Skinny, and he asked my thoughts on it, and so I kind of provided feedback to him already, and he decided to carry this case in his shop, uh, at least a limited supply of them. I don't think he has like a million of these, but he ordered a limited supply of these. And I have to say, I think it, it works, does the job pretty well. And I'll tell you a little bit about it. Now, I am very much a pack geek, um, and I tend to go for really high-end, <laughs> um, you know, cottage industry type uh you know, packs and things like um, Tom Ben, Red Ox, uh, GoRuck, I mean, um, Spec Ops brand, just companies like that, where I pay a premium to have something that's American made or at least made kind of by hand. And it's because it's just one of my things besides radio that I love are really good high quality packs. This is like a regular pack you'd find on Amazon or uh, maybe in a camera store or something like that, um, because it basically is a camera pack, I, I assume. And, um, but the quality is actually pretty darn good and his price is excellent. I think it's $20 or so, uh, maybe with a little shipping. Um, and it, it really fits both radios. Well, I did not think this would fit the TR 45 L the larger one, but it does. And I'll show you, um, this exterior, um, material feels a little bit like ballistic nylon. I don't think it is, but I like it. It feels pretty sturdy. Um, there are no pockets on the outside of this except for these two little mesh pockets and you could put something small in there like earphones or something like that. Um, possibly an antenna like a small wire antenna you could stick in there but it, it's not they're not big and they don't expand very far you know so they're there's limited use on these but you could find something to put in there maybe even like your logging pad or something like that. Um, I don't think this is waterproof, but I wouldn't worry too much if it set out in a little shower if it were all sealed up. Inside, so this opens up nice and wide when you open the pack here. Inside, it's bright red, and I do like that, actually. Um, I like bright colors in the interior bags because it makes it a lot easier to find things inside the bag if they're the fall on the bottom, like you can just see in here. And this is pretty low light. I'm actually I'm actually in our travel trailer right now because I was setting this up to do it outside, but our winds are just gusting really high. Uh, so it's low light in here, and you can see straight to the bottom of this thing. It comes with one little divider that, of course, you could set up to do whatever you want to with it. I'm, I'm, again, I'm sure this was for cameras and lenses and things because we use a lot of camera bags in our radio world. But I set mine up to be this way, and the, the sides Velcro on very easily in here. There's this little tiny mesh pocket at the top. I've been putting little tiny accessories in here, like my key cable and things like that. I'll show you how I pack it out for my uh, TR45L Skinny. And that's pretty much it. This is what it is. But the padding's nice. I think the quality's very acceptable and um, certainly does the job well. So I'll show you how I do my TR45L Skinny first. So here's the radio plenty narrow to fit in here. So what I do is actually I put it with the controls facing this way and I leave room at the back. Then I'm, I'm pulling out one of my larger keys I ever use in the field, which is the Begali Traveler. I'll just stick it straight in there. Yes, it's going to smack around and it could put your feet this way. Um, yeah, it could move around in there a little bit. I'm not too worried about it. My field radio stuff, I don't worry if there are little micro scratches and things on them because it's just going to happen anyway. It's the nature of taking things into the field. Here's a 3 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. I'll stick that in there. Here is the power cable. I don't even have a... I need to take this off. I don't even have it wound up properly, but I've got a power cable. This could probably go in one of the side pockets if I wanted it to, but I don't need it to. I can just poke it in here like this. And I've got a power cable in here. I've been putting my, uh, this is my uh, little uh, key cable that I use. I like these retractable key cables that fits in there. And then if I wanted to, I could also put in this, this is a mess right now. I just pulled it out of another pack just to show you the size. This is my, what I call my bare bones 
um, Arbor Storyline kit. I could easily stick it in here in another little pouch, which would probably be smart instead of just loose like this. I can put that in here. I can put my antenna in here. And then I have an entire field kit. I mean, I can even deploy the antenna and do everything. I could easily fit a log book in here as well um, and a pencil. That's really the only things I'm missing. Uh, this radio has everything else I need. Uh, if I'm using a um, resonant antenna, then, and actually the antenna I'm using in here that, that I put in here is not resonant. It's a random wire antenna that doesn't even have a uh, transformer on it, but I'm just showing for size because my 20 meter infed halfways are roughly the same size. So uh, there's plenty of room in here for that. Um, I even had my instruction manual in here. <laughs> so um, that's the skinny and you can see how it all fits in here. There's plenty of room, like there's plenty of room. So like with this one bag, you can throw this in your car and you've got an entire field radio kit uh, in it. So let me show you what the TR45L, the larger one, looks like in here. I'll pull all this out. It's going to be a little unfair that I brought big stuff along with this, like this huge key. Um, it's not, not a great idea to do that with this. But what I do is just push this back to the back because I don't really need it. And then here's the TR45L, which you can see is just a lot thicker than the skinny about almost two times, about two times as thick, exactly. So um, you can stick this straight in here, fits in there nicely, like perfectly really. Now, the key I brought with me, not ideal for this situation, it's a huge key, but I've got so many small keys that would just very easily fit in this pocket, like my Palm Pico, uh, my K6ARK Tiny Paddle Jack, um, I could even get my SP4 or one of my smaller keys from C.W. Morrison here. Uh, my TP3 for sure would fit in here, no problem at all. So there are lots and lots of small key options that would fit. I just happen to have this in the bag with my skinny from the last activation I did. Um, and that's the only reason this huge key is in here. So with this radio, of course, you don't need to worry about, I don't need to worry about a battery and I don't need to worry about even having a resonant antenna because the TR45L has a built-in battery in it so I can turn it on whenever I want to and it also has an ATU on the back so I really only need a way to get my antenna in a tree again <laughs> be better if I had a bag to put this in inside here so it wouldn't just get everywhere and I've got my antenna I just stick a log book in here and a pencil which would easily fit along with that little small key and you close this up and that's it so it definitely holds the tr45l and a full radio kit in there you don't need any more than this and this is nice this is also um i think kind of low profile so when you go to a park or something like that it doesn't look like you're bringing in a whole bunch of radio gear this looks like a normal old kind of camera bag so that's what I like about this too. So anyway, if you've been thinking about it, I think the deal's really good. 20 bucks plus a little shipping. And I if I remember correctly seeing it on John's site on wa3rnc.com, the um, he doesn't do this through his regular shop, shopping cart. I think that you send him an email and pay via PayPal or something like that. I think he kind of ends up saving you a bit of money by doing that. Um, and at time of posting, uh, John also just mentioned that he is retiring and will not be doing, uh, you know, any more production of the, any of his transceivers. And he bought a limited number of these cases, uh, for his site. So if you're interested in one of these, I would definitely grab it, uh, while you can, because there are limited supplies, but I think it's a good one. Um, yeah, again, I think this is, this would serve you, I think many years. Um, and I think it'll do a good job. I'm certainly going to use it even though I'm a pack snob and I really am. I'll still use this pack because it does the job really well. Anyway, thank you so much. Hope this helps uh, shed a little light on this.